I can't tell you what a personal honor it is for me to serve as president of the American University of Central Asia. Since its founding uh, 25 years ago as the Kyrgyz American faculty, in the, last, in the last 25 years, almost miraculously, it has grown into the top university in Kyrgyzstan and maybe as well in Central Asia more broadly. And it certainly is the most internationally diverse uh, when you look at its faculty and its student body. And over these 25 years, we have graduated about 4,000 graduates who have now uh, are taking leading positions in business, uh, in government, in civil society, in media, and all kinds of professions, not only in Kyrgyzstan, but Central Asia and the world more broadly. I've inherited what I think is a really strong institution uh, with lots of potential for future growth. What could be more personally satisfying for me uh, than to make contributions to the development of this institution for the training of uh, young people who will be leaders in this part of the world. Many people ask me what my vision is for AUCA. Well, it's a little early going as I've only been here for about five weeks, but at the moment I see it in kind of three parts. And the first part really is to build upon the vision of the founders of the institution, which is to develop an American-style liberal arts college or university in Central Asia, of which uh, none had existed, and pretty much no other institutions like AUCA exist. I had the privilege of attending Amherst College, one of the top uh, liberal arts colleges in the United States. And the key things that I learned there that I think are relevant for AUCA are the development of skills of critical thinking and especially the ability to express myself in written and oral fashion in a really clear and compelling way. These are key tools that have served me in a lifetime uh, in my career in various uh, jobs and positions. They, uh, in no matter what technical field or specialization uh, that one may get into, uh, be it law, be it business, be it high technology, be it engineering, you know, they're built on a foundation of the ability to think clearly and critically and the capacity to express oneself uh, in a clear and compelling fashion. Clear and logical expression, this reflects clear thinking. When one is forced to write an essay, uh, you find out really quickly whether you actually understand the material that uh, you are trying to talk about or to write about. It's almost impossible for us to predict, you know, five, 10, let alone 20 years into the future, what are the specializations that are gonna be most important for um, our young, uh, our young and emerging labor force. But we can safely say that uh, strong skills of active reading, critical thinking, logical, clear expression, these are gonna be important for what anybody does. So I don't think the, you have to worry about liberal arts education going out of style. The second part of the vision is sort of the obvious conclusion about you know what makes up a great university. And here, I think it is basically great professors and great students and having the resources to be able to recruit and retain the best faculty and the resources to recruit the best students and to, sure, and to ensure that the highest percentage of them actually graduate and they're in a position uh, to be very, very attractive on the job market or to pursue uh, further, further graduate studies. The third goal is the one that's kind of most personal to me and that is to strengthen AUCA's place, not only in Central Asia, but in the wider world as a place for learning, research, and convening top experts on the most challenging international and global issues that we face. Uh, climate change, sustainable development, um, trafficking in illegal goods, such as weapons, uh, drugs, humans, um, refugees, migration, etc. There's a long list that I could that I could provide. I came from Georgetown University's top-rated School of Foreign Service to AUCA, and as an internationalist myself, I would like to develop much stronger um, <clears throat> and diversified course offerings and to promote research on international issues here at uh, on 
that are important for Kyrgyzstan, important for the region, and important for the wider world. Ideally, students and faculty would want to come to AUCA to teach, to study, to do research, because this would be an attractive place to do it on a number of different topics. I suppose when, if I were to look back and, and judge what would make my work successful, um, you know, after my tenure passes here, I suppose it would be that if people said, hey, you know, that guy, Andy Cutchins, he really made a difference, a positive difference in building the institution and strengthening the institution of AUCA. And I, it's hard to imagine, you know, something that I could feel better about both personally and professionally if I was able to succeed in that in the coming months and years ahead at AUCA.